Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering top five features in Microsoft Word in 2024. Now, before we jump into that video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows Server, Remote Desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So I have Office Professional Plus 2021 installed. Again, that will be a link in the description. And I just started a blank document here so that we can demonstrate our top five features. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is Quick Parts. So I've created a simple signature for Indigo Software. It has the company name, the headline, as well as the website. Now, let's say I'm using this signature a lot in various different documents I'm working on in Word. It could also be like some sort of header with an address, street name, stuff like that, whatever it is that you use on a recurring basis, go ahead and select it. So we have Indigo software, the tagline, and then our website. Now, if I go to insert the tab here at the top, we have a little button here called quick parts, click down to that and then hit save selection to quick part gallery. So I'm going to put this as Indigo software header and I'll press okay. All right. So if I delete this, anytime I'm in a new document, I can I can simply click on quick parts and then where it says Indigo software header, I just click on that and it inputs the text into the document for me. Next up, I'm going to click over to the view tab. Under immersive, we have focus. This is going to give us a non-distracted view of our document and the page size itself will be larger as well. So if you're really just typing and thinking, focus is a great tool to reach for. Simply exit by hitting the escape key. Next up, we're going to go back into the home tab. Here we can click this little arrow, which is gonna pull up our clipboard history. So we can select previously copied sections of text or links or images. And instead of having to go find it and copy again, we can just refer to our clipboard history and that can help save some time. Okay, next up, I'm navigating back to the insert tab. And here we have a little tool where we can actually take a screenshot. So if I click on this, this little cross comes up on the screen. I can click and drag to make my selection for the screenshot and release to take and it's going to insert it directly into the document. So let me show you without anything in here. If I go to insert, and then I'll go back over to screenshot, screen clipping, we'll go ahead and take that screenshot, and there we go, it inserts it into the document. I, I could then resize or position accordingly. All right, guys, and the final feature we're gonna go over today is in the references tab. So underneath this tab, we have this search function. This is gonna allow me to search the web directly from Word, and I could type for any relevant query that I'm looking for. So if I'm researching either for reference documents, or for images, or whatever the case may be, I can simply put that in here. So if I put Indigo software, for example, I now have different articles and links that I can choose from if I wanna continue that research. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of those features, drop those in the comment section below. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific viewer topic ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.